Okay, and I'm honestly, uh, honestly excited to try this out, check it out, you know, take a little break from Elden Ring a little bit. Um, even though this is technically a Souls-like, Souls-like Final Fantasy game, which I am on board for. Made by Team Ninja, the same people who made uh, Neo 1 and 2. As well as I think they helped out with the Ninja Gaiden games. So, I think I got my settings the way I need to. I was checking this out earlier a little bit. Uh... Yeah, so tells on effects subtitles nah yep yep motion blur off because i want to see how it looks without motion blur on uh okay good english okay all right now I imagine since it is uh, Team Ninja made it, it's gonna be super loot heavy like Neo 1 and 2. So I, I imagine I'm gonna have to spend some quite, quite a time, at least in between like missions or whatever, or levels, going through my inventory, probably dismantling some stuff, whatever, but that's okay. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's jump into it. All right, so we got a few different difficulties here. Let's see, a um, uh, story mode for players who don't usually play action games. Uh, want to breeze through battles and are looking to enjoy story? Nah. Able capture mode for an even more relaxing gameplay experience? Nah. I want a challenge at least. Action and mode uh, for players who are familiar with action games and enjoy challenging battles. Yeah, I think that's what we'll probably do. I did try hard mode in the first demo and it's just ended up being probably more of a pain than what it needed to be. Um, see, hard mode players who excel at action games and wish to engage in brutal battles. Yeah, I think we'll just try out action which seems to be the normal mode and if it's too easy or gets too easy then we'll switch it to hard mode if it lets us let's dive in let's check it out all right I just realized I needed to uh, I need to go uh, options to fix the visuals. I thought, that's, I thought I was supposed to have a performance mode and a quality mode options stuff like that. So we'll see. Holy, this opening though this wow, this looks nuts already. Is that chaos? He's got the girl. Who are they trying? Jeez. Wow. It's going through them. That's interesting how like, instead of like, you know, goriness, they're essentially having like red crystals pop out. And I guess just a little bit of blood on them or something like that to sort of like replace the sort of gore. Oh my. Really? He just walks right by? Yeah, they don't want to mess with him. He's, he's powerful. They should run now? I know, right? Wow. That was intense. For an opening cutscene, the music was pretty good, too. What the? <sighs> oh my. Bring it. Is that Tiamat? 
It is Tiamat. Okay, hold on a second. Can I? Oh, God. Okay, let's see if I can figure out. Uh, Geos Coin, how you doing, by the way? Was there not an option for... Um... Like performance mode? I thought there was. Uh, uh, I guess not. That's odd. Okay. Let's go in. Oh God. Uh, it's not a remake. It's something different. Oh boy. Come here. Gotcha. Hey, trophy. Hey, one. Looks like it. Then why doesn't it feel like it? Oh boy. But yeah, it's not a full on like reboot or remake though. From what I let me double check Google. I think it is. Uh See here. So what it says here in terms of synopsis is that this game is set in a dark fantasy and in interpretation of the setting for the original Final Fantasy game. Uh, with a group of people drawn into it from another world. The main character is Jack uh, Garland, a man consumed by the need to destroy chaos. So yeah, the whole thing with that. And then it's got newcomers, including Ash and Jed. Uh, and during the journey, they face a knight who has taken on the role of chaos while seemingly the foretold warriors of light. Each has doubts as to whether that uh, is their role, basically. So I guess they're calling it interpretation. So I guess it's not a remake, it's not a reboot. Interpretation of the first game in different settings a more darker fantasy setting so there is that yeah it is cool i agree under the block scene really oh god is it the music is it copyright oh no I hope not. That'd be not good. I'm talking over it just to make sure. Oh, we're in a field. It's so beautiful and sunny. Oh my, yes, beautiful indeed. Uh, very shiny. You know, yellow. You know, in it, it enhances the blonde hair of Jack. So, yeah. And I guess we're gonna go to tutorial mode or something like that. Maybe here. I don't know. This is where the tutorial was in a demo um but yeah we're in a field mountains in the you know okay he walked that walk in that field right right he's a touch pad have to be to lock on Okay. 
All right, defeat Goblin. Soul Burst. Got to relearn this. The yellow bar above enemy is its break gauge. Attack the enemy to deplete the gauge. All right. Break enemies by completely depleting their uh, break gauge. Approach broken enemies and press circle. Finish them off with a soul burst. Okay. Cool. So enemies with a soul burst will recover your MP and raise your max MP. All right. Oh. What's up, Salt? Hold circle to deplete your break gauge and adopt the soul shield stance. Blocking an attack in this stance will restore MP and increase your max MP. Press R1 after a successful block to lunge forward and unleash a normal attack. So essentially, yeah, hold uh, circle and then R1 to attack. There we go. Get the goblin. Alright. Soul Shield is an extremely powerful counter that will stagger an enemy while raising your max MP. However, it will greatly reduce your break gauge, so a failed Soul Shield may end up putting you in hot water. Guarding, on the other hand, will greatly reduce the amount of break damage you take. Safe way to reduce the threat of incoming attacks. Start combat by guarding to get a feel for your enemy's attacks. And gradually mix and counters with soul shield as you get more comfortable with the flow of battle. Yeah, makes sense. How you doing, Salt Life? Uh, let's see. The amount of MP gained by soul shield is directly proportional to the amount of break damage a blocked attack would have dealt. Soul shield is an effective countermeasure against big damaging attacks. But guarding and evasion are better strategies against faster attacks that hit more often. Good. Good thing I can watch you play games now. You couldn't watch me before? Guy? No, I'm kidding. I know. I know. Eldering spoilers. I mean... But we're in the same area now. <laughs> in Eldering. When you deflect enemy ability with a purple name using soul shield, uh, the ability will become useful as an instant ability. Activate instant abilities by pressing square. Instant abilities do not consume MP, but their number of uses is limited. Yeah, yeah. In Elden Ring, I am um I did get some of mountain um the mountaintops of the giant stun. Like I, I'm up to the point where I beat the fire giant. Uh, I'm not sure if you fought the fire giant yet, but I basically just defeated him. I still have to figure out how to get to the west side of the mountaintops map. I think I have the requirements for that, though. I think I have the items for that. Um, and I still got to explore whatever that area is, like, near the fire giant boss fight to the right. You finished the entire area or you finished the game? I mean, that's cool either way. Gotcha. Oh god. Damn it. Whoopsie. Yeah, I think the final area of the game is at Sky City in Elder Ring. When your max MP has increased to two or more full gauges, you can spend MP and max MP to cast Lightbringer L2 plus Circle. Yeah, this is basically like the devil trigger of the game, I think. 
While every is active, enemies become easier to soul burst, which is very helpful. And you are when you are surrounded by foes. More information: see the relevant entry in the tips section. Yeah. So guys, you want to check that out, dude, but I've actually started the campaign yet. It actually starts an hour, and I guess the... I forgot to add the timer anyway. Well, not an hour, add half an hour. Sorry, half an hour. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Not sure. We're walking. Now we stop. Look, the crystals can sense each other. You have one too, don't you? My mission is to kill chaos. That's all I know. Me too. Good. We're all in the same hunt. I'm Jack. Jed. Ash. Nice. Okay, so this is the first time meeting up. Jack dead and Ash appealed to the king of Corn Cornelia for leave to hunt down chaos, but are refused. Oh, I was reading that. Two weeks have passed since that day. Now our three heroes return in triumph. Their quest complete. Well, I mean, it's Final Fantasy, dude. Yeah. Final Fantasy games have always been anime. What? Need something for that? <clears throat> it's just a scratch. Nothing a little spit can't heal. When are we gonna fight chaos? All this monster hunting is a pain in the ass. Seriously, fingers crossed we're done. Either way, time to pay the king a visit. We don't leave without answers. Hmm. Hmm. The world lies shrouded in darkness. The winds die. The seas languish. The earth decays. But the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Oh, ready? <laughs> you are skilled, to be sure. Few could have slain even one of those abominations, let alone three. There is still the matter of your number, however. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. And your crystals trouble me. They do not shine the color they should. Can't argue with that. But you need warriors, right? <laughs> Look in front of you. Here we are, ready and willing to take chaos down for you. And with all due respect, isn't that what matters most? Perhaps. Yet a question still weighs on my mind. 
warriors of the Dark Crystals. Why court danger so eagerly? What could you possibly hope to gain? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. If I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger. A thirst. Hmm. Does that answer your question? Very well. Minister Lago, fetch the key to the shrine. <sighs> My lord. Jack, Ash, Jed. I place the future of Cornelia in your hands. Do not fail us. All right. Castle Cornelia. Okay. We need to talk to you anymore? I'll deliver the key to you in the morning. Make your preparations and wait for me at the city gates. Until then. Gotcha. Many warriors have come before us, but you are different somehow. I expect great deeds. Lip syncing could be a little bit better. Who are these people? Cornelia is counting on you to save us from the darkness. I know you will. May the crystal's blessing be with you always. Oh, thank you. You look every bit the warrior. I can imagine it serves you well on the battlefield. Even so, I would kindly ask that you smile in front of my daughters. Daughters? I only see one. Hmm. All right, head on out. What's going on? Princess Sarah. The people love her. <sighs> like a flower blooming in a dark wasteland. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Wouldn't kill you to smile for once. <sighs> With a few more scars. Nah, it's nothing. Jack has the best medicine. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. In that case, if it's not too much trouble, would you be able to spare some for our soldiers in the castle? <laughs> <laughs> There's no medicine, is there? Is there something you want? There is. I need a favor from you. I heard you were going to the shrine, so I thought this would be my only chance to ask. A favor? Too, actually. Of course. There was a knight by the name of Garland who set off to battle Chaos as well, but he never returned. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Look, we don't have time for a rescue mission, Princess. I understand. You don't need to go out of your way. Just keep an eye out for him. What does he look like? He always wore such splendid armor, like a helmet that was terrifying to behold. He towered over the other knights. Even so, his voice was always warm. How long ago was this? Perhaps ten years ago. Ten years ago? Although, it seems just like yesterday. No one believes me. Not the minister, not my father. They say a knight by the name of Garland never existed. As you wish. We'll see what we can do about your missing knight. Thank you, Jack. <sighs> Jack, wait. The other favor. Come back safe and soon. <clears throat> May the crystal's blessing be with you, always. Alrighty. Your crystal vibrating too? Yeah, weird. 
Forget it. We need to focus. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Let's get some rest. Hey, Jack. Just the guy I wanted to see. I heard you're off to the shrine tomorrow. Why don't you spend the night here? Yeah. Great. Come on in. All right. Cool. The next morning. We get on to our journey now. News of your departure will soon spread. And failure will leave a stain on the king's reputation. Bear this in mind. Travel northwest, and you will reach the Chaos Shrine. Go with the Crystal's blessing. Okay. Light of Cornelia completed. Uh, so we got a couple weapons here. Mage, Mashers, a one killer. Knuckles, level one as well. Oh yeah, I should have heard of bonus stuff too. Wonder where I get that at. The mission uh, illusion add drinks in. This mission is now available. Okay. You can talk to people while on the world map. Press the options button to open the game menu. Just like talk to initiate a conversation. These chats will give you a, a glimpse into the everyday lives of the people of, of this world. Okay. Uh, the add-on yay we got the add-on content there nice nice okay so uh can i equip stuff or mess around with stuff before that let's see yeah we're done with that got job trees All right, we'll focus on swordsman first. Uh, pugilist, duelist, sword fighter. Hmm. Let's see. Change jobs and gear from battle settings menu. Use L1, R1 to choose which character you want to customize. Beware that party members other than Jack are limited to, sorry, limited in the equipment they can use. Change equipment affects various stats. All right. Press the touchpad will automatically equip the gear with the highest level. Every piece of equipment has a level that determines its stats and strength, sorry, the strength of its effects. Got it. Um, got it. Holy. Alrighty then, this is a really good early weapon. Um Nothing else? Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, there's no difference. Uh, no difference. But wait, where? What about the other stuff? What are DLC? Hmm. Weird. Oh, never mind. I see now. So it's this brave heart and rebellion. Got it. I'll try rebellion out though. Uh
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. So, wait, how do we... It's an item. Can I use that item? Hmm. I guess not. Interesting. That is weird. Okay. My bad, guys. I was just trying to figure it out. Just trying to figure it out. This one has predetermined mission level. Make sure to compare this with your average equipment level before attempting a mission. The lower your average equipment level is compared to mission level, the more break damage you will receive and less break damage you will deal. Got it. All right. Very Neo. Very Neo. from the demo looks like chaos has been waiting for us you gonna make us go in there and find you guess we'll just show ourselves in indeed Let's go. Let's dive right in then. All right, here I'm taking you can save. Tusk use to store your HP, MP, and refill your potions. Your max MP is lower than your initial MP. It will be restored to initial value. Doing so will revive any slain enemies and remove any unclaimed items from the field. When you fall in battle, you will return to the last set of cubes you'll touch. Uh, okay, yep, you can save right here. Uh, then I save. Hmm. Weird. Let's go. Press the left and right D-pad to activate the ally's resonance state, during which they will use their abilities more aggressively. All right. Time to go wild, Jed. Oh, I'll hear you. Don't stand a chance. Gotcha. Nice. Can't jump. If I tried that, if I read that correctly, grinding will be easier around a cube. I don't know. Enemy spot. Yeah, let's go. I guess you mean like grinding, like level up, something like that. Now on to the next. So I tunic. Jack, there's one down there. Yes, they change from one battle set to the other with triangle. Each set has its own brigade. Switch carefully between the two to give yourself an edge in battle. 
Change your battle sets by opening the battle settings menu and pressing triangle. Let's take it down. True, true. All right. This is the one. Time for a change. This is the one. Enemies cannot be staggered by regular attacks, soul shield, and action abilities. Uh, however, you can still stagger them. In addition, using left and right D-pad will cause guys use abilities more frequently. Stagger enemies first, then move to into deal with killing blow. Yeah, it. Damn, where does all that darkness come from? Look, a monster just popped out of that one. Darkness wasn't bad enough. Hey, let's go. That's all. The farce is feeling very easy for normal mode. Nice one, Jack. Now let's see what secrets this place is hiding. Over there. I'll check it out. On leveling up, you'll be rewarded with job points. Job points can be used on a job tree to unlock skills and abilities. You can access the tree from various locations, including cubes and the world map. Cube boss battle? Nah, not for a while. Treasure ahead. Not for a while, sir. Magic stacks like fire will still deal some damage even if you guard. Continuous hits with certain attacks will inflict stats helmets. Additionally, Taking damage from the same element repeatedly will make you vulnerable to that element, temporarily allowing subsequent attacks of the same type of dealing great damage. Oof. It does, man. It really does. He's not shooting at me. Take that, firebomb. Warm welcome. Time to go to work. Let's see how much fire that thing can eat. Oh, God. Jack will be broken when his break gauge is bleed, causing him to be temporarily defenseless. Will also decrease his max MP and remove any buffs or instant ability effects. Oh no! That's what happens when that happens. Stay out of the flames unless you want to get cooked. Let's find what? another way around. Oh, I guess I can't hold it down. Down. Yep, I need to heal. Okay. okay, what the heck?
Come here. Yo, what a blowfish. My right full counter? I know, right? It's crazy. Uh... Oh, there's some different ones I thought I just got. Weird. Maybe it's only for me? Hmm. What's going on, Blowfish? Pretty good, man. Nice, nice. Did you work today? Or did you take off? Okay, he can use them. That's weird. Not a work, gotcha. See how it is? You're playing hooky. I see. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm just testing with you. <laughs> I thought they were going to have you off on Monday. I mean, uh, the weekends. Like, like just how you work, like, maybe a few days during the week, and then, like, you just don't work weekends or something. Or maybe that's because what, or maybe that's because what you thought was going to happen. And that's, uh... Oh, uh, okay, he's still mainly works Saturdays. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, you gotcha. way looks safe enough. We got company. What the hell was that? No sweat. Well, I hope you got some stuff done today, man. I know you were trying to work on some stuff, um since you know you have extra time to do so. Yeah, I might have to upgrade this difficulty to the hard mode because this is still too easy. Uh, not today. I'm just re resting a bit more because I got a stream tomorrow. Then when I'm feeling better, I gotta go in. Gotcha. That's fair. Please. 
Get him, boys. I'm curious about something. Actually, can I change it now? Hey, Mel. How you doing? I'm not sure I can change the difficulty settings unless I gotta do it to cube. Maybe I gotta do it to cube. Cause this is feeling too easy. Tired, very tired, understandable. I know you be working long hours. I think we can use that. Should we take a breather? Doctor. Show me what you can do. Learn a couple things. Ah, no escape. That's funny. Number club. Hey, job trees. Oh yeah, I, sent, I didn't put any points to anything. All right, guys, we're a few minutes away from the sponsorship starting here, so it's probably a good point to do something here. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do. Move card abilities from the battle settings menu. Uh, let's see. Just gonna press an X. Okay. Move combo abilities from yeah. That's what I thought. Battle settings menu can be uh can be used by pressing R two. For normal attack. Okay. Wait. So. All right, Rage and Slash. Okay. All right. Uh, guys, let's go ahead and get this started here with the sponsor portion of the street. Okay. So guys, if you don't know about HelloFresh, uh, they are sponsoring the stream today. I have a command for them. And you can use my link, check out the website. Uh, you get up to 16 free meals, plus free surprise gifts across your six HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping on your first box. Uh, check out the website. Actually about to show you guys here in a bit what it looks like um this is a new thing for me i've heard about it before in the past i've seen other people be sponsored by them uh basically you know they offer many recipes to choose from each uh week you know to help you basically break out of your recipe kind of routine i guess sort of switch things up and let me check out the website here let me get it pulled up i can show you guys better too Okay. 
All right, here we go. So real quick, uh, I also have Honey installed on my browser too. If you don't use Honey, uh, I don't know what's wrong with you because Honey is free and it basically will help you out save more money on certain stuff. Like here, for example, but uh, we'll click out of that real quick. So we can, you can personalize your plan. Uh, now, it's just me. I don't have anybody else here. So it looks like the lowest number of people they go to is two, which is fine. That works out, honestly, for me, because heck, I'll eat beaten for two. <laughs> uh, recipes for week two. Four total servings. So it can be family friendly. You can do meat and veggies. You can just do veggies. You can do fit and wholesome. Uh, just pescatarian. Quick and easy. I mean, I'll probably do quick and easy. You know, there's something simple. Just to try out. But man, does this food look good. Look at meat and veggies here. Got veggie, family, friendly, fit and wholesome here with the stuff they got here, recipes. They all do quick and easy for the busy uh, weeknights, you know, because I tend to stream a lot during the weeknights. So that's what I want to do quick and easy. Check that out. Look here, select plan. Okay, so it looks like it wants me to uh, log in. So hold on real quick. Hold on. Let me uh, do my thing. Wants me to enter, enter my information. So basically, you know, you'll create an account. You'll enter your name, your address, stuff like that, your phone number. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. And I'm gonna try this out for myself too, because I wanna give you guys, you know, I never tried before, I wanna check them out. And that way I can give you my opinion as well too. Because I have actually not tried these guys out yet. Okay, almost done, guys. All right, all right. And there we go. There we go. Uh am I cooking ASMR stream soon? I mean, possibly, yeah. Possibly. If I ever get the setup for that, my kitchen does not look the best though. That's the only thing. My kitchen is way too large. Like and I don't really have any extra cameras. So that's what the biggest struggle right now. Like I don't have really any extra cameras. Um to utilize for like a cooking stream. One day though. 
one day. So as you can see, I just signed up. Um, you can suck your meals now. Welcome, whatnot. They uh, so I basically use my link to check it out. Uh, it should be sent to me Sunday. So a quick and easy one, and I'll make it and I'll show you guys next week sometime. You know, the type of meal I make. It's supposed to come Sunday. First delivery. So we're going to check it out. It's real quick and simple. If you want to do something simple like I just did, where it's just two people, um, check out the link. I, it just only cost me like roughly like 23 bucks and some change. So I'm checking it out to see how it is, you know. And I believe you can cancel any time if you want to. But yeah. Oh! Seven stars with the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, Seven stars. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a fun stream. Uh, what were you playing? Uh, I'm Mike Hero. We are checking out Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin tonight. Uh, this is the early access version of the game because if you simply pre-order the game, you can play it starting today instead of waiting until uh, Friday, I believe. And also, uh, a portion of tonight's stream is sponsored by hello fresh uh excavation hell fresh if you want to check out their site use my link and basically using my code will get you up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across your six hello fresh boxes plus free shipping on your first box uh there's also um uh, i believe a image below the panels you can click on use that if you want to use you know exclamation but yeah it's something new and exciting i'm trying out uh i've never tried HelloFresh before i've have seen other streamers be sponsored by them uh and they're they're pretty cool like the food you can make is pretty awesome you know you can select from either just two people or four and you do family friendly there's meat and veggies there's veggie quick and easy you know there's different options and i just got done uh basically order myself try my subscription out for myself so Since Star uses HelloFresh, I believe. Nice, nice. Heck yeah. Like I said, if you guys want to help me out and just check check out the link um, or my panels below, it uh, really helps out to support the stream. We have it. It's great. Nice, Since Stars. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm just I'm just now trying them out. Uh, so I was my own first number there. You see at the bottom. Um, and yeah, it's my first time being sponsored by them. So they're sponsoring two hours of the stream tonight. Uh, so around roughly around nine o'clock or so uh we'll end there and then not end the stream but the sponsor should be over with and then um in a couple days uh i believe they'll be sponsoring the stream again for another two hours so that's awesome really you've been collecting the recipes and keep making them heck yeah that's awesome um and even though I'm, they're sponsoring the stream for like a total of four hours two streams this uh, goal of mine I'm trying to reach is going to go for 30 days. So if you feel like you want to help, but either you can't do it right away or can't at all, please don't feel obligated to. All right. This is going for 30 days. I started today. So it's going to go for until the 15th of May, April. So if you do want to help out later on, you have plenty of time. That's smart. Yeah, it is. That is smart. All right. Uh, let me double check anything else about the website here. So let me go back to it. All right, guys, I can show you what I'm what I'm getting. Oh my god, this is good. This looks so good. Okay. I'm about to show you guys what I'm getting. So these were the two pre-selected meals that I'll be getting. One pan sweet and spicy cashew pork tacos. And oh my God, does that look incredible? Oh my God. 
and then the second one and that takes 15 minutes to make easy cleanup easy prep and the next one one pan chicken sausage pizza uh delias oh hmm oh that looks scrumptious so those are the two pre-meals coming to me they were pre-selected um uh, i'm excited i'm excited so next week i will showcase it won't be sunday because i probably won't be streaming sunday i don't know we'll see how we see how much far we get into this game tonight plus we got elder ring still to finish so i'll probably say that for next tuesday i'll make one of these for next tuesday to show you guys okay But yeah, it'll show you what you get, and there's all meals here. You got other options you can choose from. Uh, for those that don't know about this, you know, you got your new, you got your quick and easy, you got fitting, wholesome specialties, veggie. All this food looks so freaking good. Oh my, I love food. I'm sorry for making you guys hungry, but I mean, hey, check them out. You know, exclamation hello fresh. But man, oh, this looks good. Oh my goodness, that looks freaking amazing. Wait, what's going on, chat? Sorry, I need to catch up. Mike, what's up, man? Yo, hey, sports fan. I'm coming over. Come on, Mel. Uh, you should get one because they really are good. And you can be a picky person and be selective of what types of recipes that you get. Yeah, well, yeah, since ours, my first one's coming up starting Sunday. Uh, gotta have some, please send me some, me some via overnight. <laughs> Tim, look through your other options because you can swap them out. Oh, really? That's awesome. My spoon is, no, you're good, Tim. I'm coming for dinner next week. All right, Mel. Um, uh, damn, you eating good? Not tonight. So, sports saying I got a sponsorship going on uh hello fresh uh sponsoring stream for, for two hours tonight and this was shown off the website i just ordered my first ever hello fresh uh meals that'll come sunday so if you want to check them out you can use my link and use my code also it's in the panels below if you want to click on that thank you gs coin who is this mike Really, the one with the old bay seasoning you got last time? Nice. Are they already prepped or do you cook the ingredients? Uh, it looks like they're already prepped. For the most part. Like they're packaged accordingly, it's like that. And they just kind of got to put it together, essentially. That's what it seems like. Uh, Sensars knows more than I do. Because he doesn't use them on regular. Oh, you cooked them? That's what I figured. That's what I figured that they're already like sort of like, you know, pre-packaged accordingly to the right, you know, measurements and portions. And you just cook them. So yeah, uh, like I said, guys, if you want to help out, check them out, use my link. Uh, the goal is 50 new subscribers that I'm trying to reach. And this, uh, sponsorship in terms of the entirety goes for 30 days so if you can't you know get involved right away don't feel bad you still have plenty of time if you can't you know help out at all that's okay too you don't have to feel obligated but at least check them out see if it's something you might be interested in hey i got all that since stars i got all that yeah i don't really cook with salt but i love to cook with butter and black pepper mainly um olive oil with certain meals certain meals olive oil not all the time though but i do love olive oil all right i'll showcase that later again uh later in stream in about an hour or so for those who may come in my god my eyes been bugging me again i've been i don't know what happened i've been using clear eyes oh man okay Yes, I was, Tim. I went to school for culinary arts uh, straight out of high school. Like, I took, like, a 
I took the summer off ever after I graduated high school. Then like that fall, I went to college. Uh, my mom kind of pushed me into it a little bit. Uh, and I went to this college for culinary arts. Um, the college I went to locally here, I didn't actually finish there. Um, there are some things going on in my life that, you know, affected things and changed things. So, but later on, I went to uh, another local program. That was like a 10 week free course where I got certified as a chef. I got my serve safe, you know, and I worked in the food industry for about seven years. So I know my way around the kitchen. All right, guys, let's get back to the game. Thank y'all for being here, hanging out. I would love to eat Chef Mike's food. I mean, one day, maybe. Dude, you're telling me now you can cook? I mean, you could have asked. <laughs> you could have asked. <laughs> the things I don't cook, though, because I'm not like, I'm, I am a picky eater to an extent. The things I don't cook is seafood because I'm not a big seafood eater and fried food as I don't eat a lot of fried food either. If I do eat fried food, I usually just order it. I don't cook it at home. Uh, I don't cook seafood, but I will cook some vegetables and I'll do some different type of meat meals. I don't bake either. I don't like do like, you know, cakes and uh, uh, muffins, stuff like that. You know, I don't do that. But I'll do like some baked chicken or some other baked meats, whatnot, or experiment sometimes, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, rebellion seems to be the best weapon, so we're sticking with that. Rebellion is the best boy. Anything I eat comes from a box, uh, usually. From the freezer nice nice what's up Melly? how you doing oh caster mask looking like a ninja almost Some single pieces of equipment take up multiple slots. For example, the pale protector occupies both body and leg slots. Although you sacrifice an equipment slot, items of this type make up for it by offering higher stats. That's cool. Melly, how you doing? I enjoyed your stream earlier. I eat uh, beefaroni right from the can when I'm lazy. I mean, there, hey, nothing wrong with that. Eat how you like. TV dinners for me. Hey, I mean, that's how it be sometimes. No good how it's going so far. Yes, it's going all right. Uh, I actually was just talking about the sponsored stream, how HelloFresh is sponsoring two hours of the stream tonight. And then uh, in a couple days, there'll be another part of the stream sponsored by them. And I just showed off, you know, the website and I just did my first order through them. I never actually ordered through them before. Um, but yeah, if you got, if you want to check it out, Melly, anybody else, I'll be showcasing the website later on in about an hour or so. And there's also the uh, command for it, exclamation HelloFresh. If you want to check it out for yourself, use my code. You know, get yourself 16 free meals on your first free 16 with three surprise gifts and free shipping on your first order. Hey, sponsorship, let's go. Yeah, then and, and uh, the goal is 50 new subscribers. Uh, you see one there because I did it for myself. And if uh, the goal is 50, so I have 30 days to reach that goal. If you're not able to help out right away, please don't feel, you know, sad or obligated to. You can, there's plenty of time. If you cannot help out at all, that's okay too. I just enjoy having you guys here hanging out, you know? All right. And we're trying out Stranger of Paradise, uh, Final Fantasy Origin tonight. So far on normal mode, it's been pretty easy. I'm trying to see if I can upgrade it to hard mode, but I have not figured it out yet. Um, uh, so trying to get that situated. And we're gonna give him this outfit. And then do we get some better knuckles for him? 
don't think so. So we didn't get any better gear from him. Well, holy, holy mother of God. Tim, thank you for the five gifted subs. Good Lord, man. You are kind, sir. That's too kind. Let's go, right? Right? Sub hype. Let's go. Thank you, Tim. That was very kind of you. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> it's okay. All right, I guess we'll leave it like this for now. And then... Get that. I think that's it for now. All right, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. If it lets me say... Oh, oh okay, it lets me say there. I see. Now... Oh, here we go. Change difficulty. Here we go. Let's try... Oh, difficulty cannot be raised while mission while mission is in progress. Okay, so we'll do this mission on normal, and then we'll switch to hard mode because I feel like normal, like action, is the normal mode, and it feels too easy right now. We'll see how it feels when it comes to the boss fight. Why the screen gets small? What do you mean? My stream screen? What? What? to get through those flames mages are masters of utilizing action abilities to break enemies normal attacks with a mace or cover ample mp and charged attacks can't take big chunks out of the enemy's break gauge allowing mages to break foes all the faster mages can cast spells with r2 and re will recover mp while casting yeah 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 i figured you uh did that all right, so we got to equip a uh, separate weapon. Battle sets job. Grants job. Things bonus. Both battle sets. So we need. Wait a minute. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Slam! From Melianite. Oh my goodness. Thank you. That is very kind. Holy crap. Jeez. Y'all trying to get a hype train started. You calm that down right now. I appreciate you guys being here hanging out. <laughs> you go, sir. Yeah, if y'all ain't checking out Swam and his girlfriend, uh, come. Blowfish! Blowfish, come on, man. Thank you. Holy... God, what the... She has coin. Don't tell me I'll spend my money. <laughs> well, guys, oh my goodness. That is uh, incredibly kind of you guys. It, honestly... I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money, but I do suggest you check, check out HelloFresh because that honestly would help me out a lot more with the sponsorship going on. You have, we have 30 days uh, for me to reach my sponsorship goal of 50. Uh, let's check them out, see if you know there's a good plan for you. They got great food, great prep meals like that. Um, you go, GS Coin. You go, Swim. So, oh my goodness. How much is left? What do you mean? On the hype train or are you talking about my sponsorship? The one isn't going up. Oh, sponsorship. So the goal is 50 new subscribers. I just, uh, I'm my own first subscriber. Check me out. They, they, uh, I read the rules. It says okay for me to do that. So essentially 49. I am trying to reach. I need, I'm trying to see if I can get up to 50 total 
so 49 more people um by april 15th you use my code to get up to 60 free meals plus free supplies gifts across your six hello first boxes plus free shipping on your first box mine's gonna come sunday mine is gonna come um uh, sunday and what i'm gonna do since the stream is sponsored for two hours tonight and uh, there'll be another two hour portion sponsorship in a couple days um next week i did a quick and easy one next next tuesday i'm gonna make one of the meals to show you guys you know either stream or whatnot and so we'll do that subscriber to hello fresh check mike in the house yeah oh wait where's the mace where's the mace wait where's the mace I'm confused. I don't I don't seem to have the mace. Oh, this is not good. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I don't know if they mean this, but uh I think they mean this. Yeah, since stars, if guys, I'm new to it. So if you want like actual feedback from someone who's a uh, user consistently talk to since stars, he apparently uses it on a regular basis. I'm still new to it. Uh, and I'm gonna let you give my guys feedback when I do try it out. But yeah, if you want any questions about how really good it is, Ask 10 stars. Okay. There we go. Like a bat. Ah, open flames. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Each sack has individual attributes. Physical attacks have the slash, pierce, or strike attributes. Magic attacks have the fire, ice, lightning, earth, water, wind, holy, or dark attributes. Some enemies are weak to certain attributes and take greatly increased break damage from attacks sharing those attributes. Indeed, I bet they do. Let's go. Let's knock them down. Ash, show me what you can Watch and learn a couple times. Time to go wild. I'll leave the gas. We don't. Aha. Let's see Got him. Uh, Sports Saint, I have actually even taken a break from One Piece. And the last thing I remember was. I'm still in season 13 on Funimation. Um, I think I got maybe a hundred or less uh, episodes left of season 13 on Funimation. Yo, thank you all again for the hype train. You guys are incredible. I love this community. I really do. Nice room. With plenty of places to hide, stay alert. Indeed. Time for a change. It's venting darkness. Let's clean it up. It's ever easy. I can do that. I just realized I need to change my gear up for this. May have weapons armor may have job affinities. Okay, so for this. Caster mask. rip i know right i took a break but i want to went back to fit i got past 1k now nice congrats
All right, so this is gonna be second outfit. So switch between them. Let's talk about my caster. Time for a change. Okay. Oh no! Well, I goofed up. Hold up. There you go. This will be a breeze. Caster coat. This is the one. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Oh hell no! Never mind. Never mind. Why is he got that between what? What the? Oh no. <laughs> hmm. What are what's in there? Stuff. Cast of trousers. Oh my god, there is more cool stuff we keep getting. More cool stuff. Uh hmm. Mm, water break damage dealt. I don't know. We keep this for now. Hold up, can we knock it around? Oh boy. Guess I gotta go back the way I came. Check this out. Enemy break gauges refill solely, making soul burst a difficult proposition when there are a lot of foes about. Lower enemies' max break gauge will prevent them from recovering as much gauge, and so the rate at which it recovers. When face many foes, use Lightbringer often to lower enemy max gauges. Got it. Oh god, did not mean to do that. I did mean to do that though, because that does some good damage to those enemies down there. Enemy spot. Time to go to work. Come here. Get him, boys! No, nah, I don't play Genshin. I tried out like one time. It's not a bad game. It's just, I have too many other games to play, and Genshin is like a game that just never ends. So it's kind of like an MMO. So I'm like, I will come back to that when I just don't have as many games to beat. I haven't seen something this good in a while. I'll take that. It is awesome. I agree. I agree. It's an awesome game. I just don't have time for it right now. Because that game just literally never ends. They keep adding more content to it. It's a fun game, though, but from what I played, it's very fun. And I love anime. So we've come full circle, huh? Interacting with devices such as ladders will create a shortcut to cubes and expand area you can safely explore, so be sure to keep an eye out for them. Yep, essentially shortcuts. Uh, so it's all connected for the next time we need a breather. Uh. 
All right, so let's go ahead. Heal up here. Save. Oh, wait, I have job stuff? Hmm. Oh, that's right, mage, mage. I do have stuff like this. Only a little bit, though. I uh, don't think there's anything else over here, though. Yeah, nothing we need to go all crazy for. And do. So we'll head back up the ladder. Warrior of Light was just called the Warrior of Light. And now his name is Jack and has a badass voice. Indeed. Hubbard. Lancers can ass assail foes from a distance and with their long reach and exploit their enemies' weaknesses with weapon skills or attack type. Yeah, this is very cool. You can basically just toss it like your freaking Aquaman. I'm not big into the whole lance type of uh, weapon though or move set, but uh, I'll eventually try out all the jobs though and probably max out all jobs before I beat this beat this game. Just you know, be able to experiment whenever. Right now, I want to work on Swordsman and Mage. We got bats. Let's go. Jack, let's go. Time to go wild. Get free on the guard. What are you doing? Never mind. Good job. As you were. We need to patch ourselves up. As you were. All right, got some more cool stuff. Before I go down there, let me uh, update the gear a little bit. Uh, let's see, nothing is better than this Rebellion Sword right now, though. Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Yeah, it's free to play. Yeah. I don't want to use this one instead. That chaos saves the biggest tower for himself. Still got a ways to go. Yeah, stay alert. Stay focused. Got this. All right, what we got here? Some abilities can be triggered to cancel in action early. Instant abilities. Instant abilities stolen from enemies can be activated to cancel the in action ability mid. Use and faster than would otherwise be possible. Try using a phone combo against your foes. Normal attack, action ability, instantly. Ooh. Uh, command abilities. All command abilities, including Lightbringer, can be triggered after canceling their action. Also note that you are invulnerable to enemy attacks while triggering Lightbringer. Use this to your advantage when surrounding, uh, sur surrounded by foes. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, Mel loves it. Mel loves that game. We got company. Come on, follow me. Oh my god. Get out of my face. Yo, this is a lot of fun. I still need to change the difficulty to hard mode because it still feels pretty easy, but otherwise it feels pretty fun. Really responsive, really fluid in terms of combat. <laughs> Blowfish. Finally a break. This will take us straight to the tower. Cool. I see some cubes over there. Better not forget where it is. Right, shield. Uh, press triangle me after using the ability to activate the chain. Cancel. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about that. They do do that. Use anima shards. Anima shards can be used from the job tree screen to earn job experience. Join multiplayer games as guests will earn you more anima shards than standard play. All right, sports saying take care uh... oh wait I didn't mean for dual cement mage whoopsie Oh, I need more points in it anyway. Never mind. We're good. Mm. I already did this, right? Did I not set this? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. That's my bad. I like it. Put the command abilities from uh, settings menu. Okay. Use quick abilities by holding down L2 and press the triangle. Oh, I got it. Cool. Very cool. Tax clothes and sense aura cannot be blocked. If you see one of these, move away and evade, avoiding taking damage. All right, you will be able to block these sacks in casual mode. Ah. Digging it, though. I'm digging it.
Oh god. Oh god, I did not avoid that. Oh, I, I love it. I love it. The combinations you can do in this game. Oh my goodness, man. Wait, that's why I should not save there. Okay. Also, guys, does the audio sound good for this game? Like, is it too high, too low? What is this? Hey, got a key. Gotcha. Okay. Oh God, not what I was trying to go for. Get up. Uh... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What? Tomberry's in here instead of the other creature? That's interesting. Danger. Oh god. Am I paralyzed? Turn smasher. Nope. That's where he came from. So which way is which? One of these doors has to open, right? Well, I'm really feeling it now. Not that one. Should we press on or go back? Here we go. Darkness is so thick I can taste it. This is it, no doubt. Oh God, him in the darkness and can taste no cubes. it. I could use a break. Okay, stop trees. All right, we got some more in here. Um, let's see, great sword. Enhance his ability set to decrease damage taken while the ability is active. Why not? Uh, combo effects enhance all combo abilities that are assigned to a specific slot. These effects only trigger immediately after a R1 normal attack hits. Okay. Got it. Alrighty.
Wait, do I have points and st other stuff? Cause it's not saying besides swords. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. All right. Uh. Hmm. Duelist. Interesting. Rarity two. Uh, oh, that's cool. All right, that's really dope. Um, we got a bit better pale protector. Warrior, swordsman. Swordsman. Hmm. See, this is good for duelist. I need to put this with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jed. Sorry, I couldn't think for some reason. Huge list. Do list. Swordsman. Hmm. Maybe. Stuffy! Hi, Stuffy. How are you doing? We will try these. Mm, Cast the shoes. Ooh, intellect. Ooh, these seem really good. Wait, no, no, no. Hold up, hold up. Oh my god, blowfish every time. Doing good. Just woke up from a nap. Hope you had a good nap. How's the game going? The game sucks pretty fun. It feels a little bit too easy though. Because I did um I chose action, which is normal difficulty, instead of hard mode, just to see how it is. But so far it feels fairly easy. We're about to do a boss fight. I'm just preparing for it right now. Um but yeah, gameplay is fun. I just feel it just feels a little bit too easy right now. So I want to see about switch it to hard mode. And that's probably gonna make it even more of a pain. But uh, I know you get better loot, though, I think, on hard mode. And uh, in case you don't know, Stuffy, uh, tonight's stream, at least a portion of it, is being sponsored by HelloFresh. Uh, exclamation HelloFresh. If you want to check them out, use my link, use my code. To, if you're interested in that at all, uh, check them out. It helps a lot. Uh, there's also the HelloFresh panel below. You can click on that as well. Not sure if you heard of them before. All right, cast the shoes. We got that. Let's go ahead and... Get some better... Just too pricey. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Try these. And then I'm running swordsman, so this will probably be better for me to run uh with this. Right? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. This is for mage. 
Did I put that with this? Yeah, I did. And then... You, sir. You, sir. Uh, you are a duelist, so this would help you out. Okay. Duelist? E. Oh, uh, looks like he has the best here. And do this once again. Now, do you have a better knuckles? Doesn't seem like it. All right, so leaving that on. Uh, you are pugilist. So I don't think I have really anything for you. Hmm. Yeah, nothing there. Nope. This might be better, though. Just so you have something. Um... Hmm. My bad, guys. Prepping, prepping, because this game's gonna require me to do this quite a bit. Um, uh, think you're good there. Shoes, think you're good. Well, I, he needs better shoes, but for what I got going on, I just well. Do this. Looks at least a little bit better. All right. Oh yeah, me safe. Okay. Let's do it. very own warriors of light. Really? He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's Garland! No. I am to become chaos. <laughs> Let's go! Oh god. I gotta remember this fight. I have, to, I have to really remember this fight. Stop them. Let's go. So this 
is what darkness does to you. Oh God! Keep it alive. Yeah, this fight is too easy now. Wow, this fight is way too easy. Hey, Kels Williams, how you doing, man? Yeah, I got, I got to bump the. Uh, this is too easy. I got to bump the difficulty up. Holy heck, man! That was wow. Nice, man. Hope you're enjoying it. Time for the reveal. Wait. My crystal. It's her. Yeah, just like before. Mine's going crazy. Nah, Stuffy, nah. And not chaos. Guess I was right. Huh. Feels like there's a story behind that. My allies and I set out to rid the land of chaos. But the journey took its toll. I'll explain Unfold, in a bit. We fell until only I remained. It was then that I finally realized the truth. Chaos isn't a man or a monster. Mm. Chaos is just a fairy tale. The darkness, the beasts, this despair that eats away at people's hearts it's easy to blame a single thing for all of that it gives people hope to think the world can be saved with a single heroic deed even if it's never that simple so i decided to become a sacrifice i offered myself to the darkness and prayed to become chaos hoping some band of heroes would defeat me and thus bring an end to this empty dream Bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He's out there. I can feel him. Feel him. I just have to keep looking. <laughs> I'll find him. I'm coming too. When darkness fails the world, four warriors of light shall come. And I only count three of you. We don't need someone whose heart's not in it. Then show me chaos. Do that, and I might even start to respect you. Deal. We better get back to the castle. Wouldn't want to disappoint our patrons. All right. See if there's another cutscene or anything. Saved. Okay, cool. So let me better explain stuff if anybody else is wondering. So you make a good point. I have been playing a hell of El a hell of a lot of Elden Ring. And I've been used to how challenging that game is and the mechanics of the games like that. But here's the thing. I played two of the three demos for this game before it came out, right? The first demo I played on hard mode and that boss fight was super challenging. Like it took me maybe like an hour or so to beat, I think maybe two. And then they took the feedback from the community, right? 
and they made improvements on the second demo. The second demo, I did not play on hard mode, but I played on normal. I played on normal. And that boss fight was still challenging. Like, not hard mode challenging, but still challenging enough where it took me a good hour or so to beat it. And the enemies were still kind of annoying, but I still got used to them. The other thing, too, is this gameplay is different from Elden Ring. So Elden Ring, you know, still falls in line with from software's games in terms of like being like more slow paced. Whereas this definitely feels like a Team Ninja game, where it's definitely more of a fast paced Souls like. Because it, feel, it just feels like Final Fantasy Neo. But the mechanics and gameplay mechanics are different. Um, and that, like, through that whole level up to that boss or anything like that, that boss fight. <sighs> this is the final version of the game, launch version. That boss fight has been severely toned down compared to the demos I played. Severely toned down. So, and I've got the footage on my YouTube. If y'all want to go back and check those out. Both, I believe. Both experiences, the first two demos. Um, That boss fight was way too easy compared to the demos. That's why I'm thinking, like, I need to probably up at the hard mode to see that's something now it could be just the way it's set up for now that's that was the first level maybe it was just set up to be easy because in a demo we didn't know for sure if that was gonna be the first level or not but um yeah oh i know and that's fine that's fine that's just for me i needed that boss fight to be like better than what it was Yeah, they do. They do. It's unfortunate, but they do. All right, we got that done. Sweet. Uh, let's see if I can change the difficulty. Wait, where is it at? Yeah, hopefully that's just like a tutorial type of boss or something like that. I'm confused. It won't let me change the difficulty. It said before I couldn't do it while I was on a mission, but now that I'm not on a mission, it doesn't give me the option. I can save. Um. What the heck? Okay, I'm confused. Uh, we did get more points though. That looks good. That looks cool. Hmm. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I have to use it in here because of the move set. That's fine. Piercing thrust. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. What's up with this? We have to change, figure out how to change the difficulty up. Uh, we saw him at the time as well. All right, let's keep going.
I'll see if I can change up in here somewhere. Wow. So this is what the city's like. I'd forgotten. <laughs> Looks like you're as forgetful as the rest of us. Am I? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> We're forgetting things all the time. I guess it's the price we have to pay for this strength. Attachments to this world will just make it harder to do our duty. It's a mercy to forget. A mercy, huh? Who's mercy? Someone or something must have decided to make it this way. Who was it? It's me. I forgot. Hmm. Alrighty. Hey, Neon. When did you first come here? Huh. Ten years ago? Although it seems just like yesterday. Wow. Some weird timeline stuff going on. And, uh, and that about covers it. So the throne was empty. Or perhaps you lost heart and fled the shrine. Uh. <sighs> you there. Neon, was it? Do you also bear a crystal? I think you've seen it before. Very good. Four warriors, four crystals. Still black as pitch, though. Warriors of light are before us at last. As is your right, I will reveal the prophecy of Lucan in its entirety. There's more. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume. This land is home to four crystals. Fire, wind, water, and earth. The darkness corrupting them causes fires to rage, winds to die, seas to languish, and earth to decay. The people are lost, and scarce little light remains in their hearts. Right. So you want us to do something about the darkness clouding the crystals? Indeed. Will you accept? What about chaos? Rekindle the light of the crystals. And you shall win the right to claim you've slain chaos. Will that not save your pride? What are you saying? That chaos doesn't exist? Hmm. Chaos is only a tale, passed down from our forebears to give the people hope. Hope that by slaying the beast in his lair, peace will be restored. You will not find him. <clears throat> However, the seeds of a new hope have been planted here. Now, a hope we can see. Yes, a hope we can believe in. Jack, Ash, Jed, Neon. Deliver this world from the clutches of darkness. <sighs> well then, if you'll come with me. All right. Uh, guess we can talk to him. Your first destination should be Provoca, which can be reached after crossing into the northern continent. Hey, just going. Son, the town's mayor, should have information on the crystal's whereabouts. 
Really? Ravaka is a city of sailors. Under the auspices of the king, they search for the crystals and send us reports of their findings. Okay. Wait, hold on. Can I? Nope. Still does not let me change the difficulty. It's weird. It's so weird. Well, let me do it. <laughs> Stuffy. <laughs> there jack you just got back from the shrine right the minister paid your room for the night so why not get some rest hmm. <laughs> i was hoping you'd say that your output you mean opinion i disagree i don't think it's a reboot And so, their journey begins. <sighs> and so, their quest began. I could always be wrong, but I mean, I looked at the, I googled about the description of this game, because DS Coin had a question about it earlier. And like, essentially what Google is talking about, about this game is that this is an interpretation. It's an action role-playing game. Um, it's set in a dark fantasy interpretation of the setting for the original FF game. Um, so I don't know. It's not, it's not been like talked about or promoted like it's a remake or, or, or a reboot. More of like a redesign, I guess. From what I've seen from trailers and other reports, but I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do this with the other Final Fantasy games, like one through six. Like this essentially is a reimagining or whatever of one, but will they do this with two, three, four, five, and six? Who knows? I'd be down. I mean, I could be wrong too, man. I don't know. uh oh here we go change difficulty never mind there we go there we go i saw with the touchpad now we're on hard difficulty let's go baby uh real quick just double checking here guys friendly minor uh, if you haven't already please check out hello fresh uh stream is sponsored by them today and if you want to see what they got they got some great meals i ordered mine first earlier basically uh hello fresh offers a wide variety of you know Quick and easy recipes, including 20 minutes. So easy, 15 to 20 minute type meals. So you can do quick and easy. They got family friendly. They got fit and wholesome veggies, meat and veggies, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. Exclamation hell fresh. If you want to check them out. I said, cause then FF1 chaos was the main boss in the game. So I never, I never played any Final Fantasy that before seven. Like my first Final Fantasy game I truly got into was 10 and then I went to go play like 8, 7. I own 9, I haven't played or beaten 9 yet. Um So yeah, 1 through 6 it's not played. So I have no idea. I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. Something I need to do too is I need to use anima. Hey. Uh. 
Okay. Also, I guess I need dismantle. How do I dismantle? I guess I gotta select them. Uh, and then what? Hmm. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. The scarred. Wait, wait, wait. No, I want to dismantle him. Uh, that's not good. Item stores. Maybe I some item stores and dismantle them later. I don't know. Because that just doesn't make sense to me. Maybe there's a way to dismantle them in here. Uh, no. Weird. There should be a dismantle mechanic in this game, though. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll have to figure it out later. May or maybe this doesn't unlock yet. Uh well here's a smitty though. Oh here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right, I need to get rid of low level stuff. Basically, anything that's three or lower, I think for now, I need to get rid of. Uh. E. I got level 10 stuff? Jeez. Yeah, this is going to be quite... I can see it's getting annoying after a while. I like kind of do this. I mean, it's not so bad right now, I guess. I'll stop after this as far as the smattering stuff, but I just want to showcase it at least. Okay. And so their quest began. As the four warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed before them. They did not even know the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands. The crystals that once, long ago, held a light that shone so brilliantly. The time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into light. I love that imagery right there. Let's do this. I'm ready for more challenging combat.
Provoca? Provoca? Hello? Oh, don't you look away from me. Oh. Huh? What's up with them? Right? Yeah. What the heck? Why are you throwing rocks at me? You're from the castle, aren't you? That's for my dad. Who's your dad? What happened to him? King commanded him to set sail for the crystals. And he never came back. You're blaming the wrong people, kid. The king might have given your father the orders, but it was chaos that did the deed. Yeah, but... Hey, we're here to make sure that never happens again. For all the kids like you who have lost someone. For all of Cornelia. Say something, Jack. Where's Mayor Sohn? <laughs> He's dead too. Captain Bicke looks after us now. Captain? Yeah, he lives in that cave. A cave? <laughs> well. Interesting. All right. Oh, that was, what? That was so simple and easy. Wow. Okay. That, that was for map host variety of missions for you to select from. This will give you opportunities to improve your equipment, lock new jobs, and grow stronger with your teammates. Land of Cornelia needs a hero to bring back the light. That hero is you. Really? Oh, wow. Okay, so now we got optional stuff, I guess. Wait, no, we already did Chaos Shrine, though, right? Hold up. Ah, side mission. Side mission stuff. Toyo Great Swords. I'll do that another time. I am intrigued, though. All right, hold up. Let's. Oh, we unlocked multiplayer. The game is mode lets you challenge missions alongside other players. The player who creates a multiplayer room because becomes the host and can wait for other players to join. The players can also specify search perimeters and search for multiple rooms. It joins one's guests. Hey, Blowfish, get this game so we can play it together. Mel, you too. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know we got plenty of stuff to play. <laughs> All right. 